Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Barely There Theater, where we present theater to you, barely. Up this week, a play. There will be a brief message after the play is over, so stick around once the show's done. Now, sit back, relax, and please enjoy Menus Menus, featuring Adam Cerny, Cynthia Taylor, and Margie Mintz. Hey, you know, Jody Magnet. great things about this place. It's funny. I've heard awful things. Really? People have been telling me the food is great. Apparently the service is the problem. Openly hostile. Yeah, but your friends are... Are what? They can be a little chaotic in public. They like having a good time. Everyone likes having a good time. That's why it's called a good time. But I can see why your friends might say... What? And your friends are angels? Oh, I didn't say that. I said... Because let me tell you, Angelica is a real bitch. Okay. We don't need to get into all of that right now. We're here to have fun, have a nice night out, let's relax, and take our mind off of things. Things. Can we try? Is that too much to ask? Maybe it is. Maybe... Maybe this was a bad idea. Wanna go home? Yes, no, but yes, mostly yes. I still think we should have just stayed in and ordered a pizza. Doesn't that sound good? Mm, delicious pizza. That's all I want, pizza. Okay, well, forget it then. Let's go try this place again another night when we're in a better mood. Grab your stuff. Hello. And welcome to Menus Menus, where every experience is a unique one. <sighs> Sorry for the wait. My name is Georg. How may I be of assistance today? Is he saying George? Uh, the sorry, Georg. We're actually good. We'll be back another night. How many in your party? J just the two of us, but we're, we're not eating. You're not eating? No. It's a restaurant. Don't get sucked in. Let's just go. Uh, we decided we're just going to eat. Home. Do you have a reservation? We don't need one for our home. That's fine. We have several tables open. Do you prefer a booth or table? Neither. We're going home. Follow me. Can he not hear me? Who cares? His back is turned. Let's go. But he's already doing something for us. He's walking towards a table. That is not some big sacrifice on his part. Let's go. I'm having the millennial urge to follow him. It doesn't matter if he's doing something for us. It's okay to leave. We're already here. My feet are already moving. Here Adrena, Adrena, go. get back here. We are so fighting when we get home. W wait up! Here it is. A waiter will be with you shortly. Wait, okay, or which table? You guys walk fast. Which table are we at? Uh, I, I don't know. He said, here it is, and then he walked. Let's take this one. If it's not ours, then we'll move. What um, kind of restaurant is this? I'm pretty sure it's dine-in since we're here. I meant cuisine. Italian, Chinese, Mexican. I asked me as I'm, I'm looking around and the architecture is confusing. Uh, Consistent. I see a sombrero on that wall, but over there is a giant portrait of the Godfather. It's a theme restaurant. What theme? Everything? My friends didn't mention what type of food they serve here. Did yours? No, just that it was good. It was awful service. Caleb seemed okay. In a low minimum wage type of way, sure. Maybe it's been the world's longest shift. I guess, if you want to be empathetic or whatever. What's wrong? Nothing. Doesn't seem like nothing. It's nothing. What is it? You really want to know what's wrong? Probably not, based on your tone. For one, we haven't been able to eat at home for the last week. I honestly thought microwaving it would be fine. For two, I haven't had a good night's sleep in eight straight days because Angelica decided the best time to practice her hot yoga is three in the morning. She could be a more considerate roommate. And finally, 
I'm worried about the state of the world. Rising sea levels? The trash pile in the Pacific? My internet browsing history? I'm worried about my mom's health. And most pressing of all, I am worried about who's gonna win this season of Master Chef Junior. Mm. I don't want to diminish your problems. But, but when did you last eat? Fine. I'm just hungry. But those other things are real problems. If our waiter doesn't get here soon, I Good swear, evening, oh ladies. my god! You come from the kitchen. Hello, and welcome to Menus Menus, where every experience is a unique one. <sighs> Sorry for the wait. My name is Georg. Can I get you started with some drinks? What do you guys have on tap? Did George not give you your menus? No, he didn't. I will speak with George at once. Be right back. Uh, I'll take a water on your way back. Oh, I don't think he heard you. It's weird. What is? You see it. See what? Georg looks just like George. Georg. George. Georg. Hmm. I, I guess you can see that. Guess? Well, they could be twins. They're even wearing the same glasses. Right. Because because wearing glasses makes people look the same. It does when they're wearing the same glasses. They, they even have the same uniform for work. I'm not disagreeing with you. I mean, I do see a small resemblance. Small? Look, it's a family business. We, we should ask when you... Here you go. You left in the opposite direction. Sorry about the confusion. What can I get you guys? Uh... Can we get a minute to look at the menus? Of course. Take your time. Ask him. Uh, Georg, hey, real quick. Um, before you go, uh, my girlfriend and I were talking, and we thought it's so funny that you and the host are both named George Georg, George uh, Georg. Um, mm. Mm. That is funny. Take a look at the menu, and I'll be back. What was that? I asked him. No, you didn't. You just observed something about him. He would have said something. Would he have? We don't know him. He would have said if it was a family name. Again, we don't know him. I don't want to ask because I don't think they're related. That doesn't make any sense. You're the one saying that we don't know him. But we have eyes and ears. I think it's weird to assume people are related. Okay, fine. I'll drop it. Let's see what's on the menu. I'm not seeing any pizza on here. Oh my god. I know. So many appetizers. What? This whole front page is just appetizers. What? No, it's not. It's all entrees. Huh? Had a chance to look at your oh, menu. You are uh, so quiet. Can I get you started on any appetizers? What are the drink options? Did you look at your menu? Uh, we were looking at them. We just got distracted. Um, do you have any recommendations? <sighs> we have water, sugar drinks, and wine. What kind of wine? By the bottle, by the glass. I meant what flavors? Sweet, dry. Pink, white, red. Sure, yeah, those two. Some blue as well. Do you have a cabernet? Sort of. We do karaoke on Tuesdays. What? <laughs> we'll take a water for now. Revolutionary. I'll be back. What was that? It seemed like the path of least resistance. Looks like my friends were right. The service is terrible. Gay work wasn't great, but I'm liking George. Nothing really. Lighten up. We're having fun! It's exciting, trying a new place, going out somewhere that doesn't smell like burnt microwave. Back with those waters. <gasps> what good service. Have we a time to review your menu? Any appetizers? Maybe something more exciting than water to drink? I think so. Uh, earlier, when you said sugar drinks, what did you mean? Like soda pop? We have both of those. What kinds? Soda and pop. I just said. You can hear me, right? 
I can. Yeah. I can hear you. You're not making any sense. I'm not understanding the confusion. Clearly not. Could I get a pop? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, a drink. <laughs> Seems like you need more time to figure out what you want. I'll be back. No, George! Get back here! And he's gone. Maybe the service isn't so good. We're back on this. You know you don't always have to be right. That's not fun. For you. What? Nothing. I, I don't know about you, but the scoop of the day, Napoleon Flambe, sounds intriguing. Where do you see that? Under the two cheese, mac and cheese, and above the dry celery sticks. I don't see either of those. Left side of the menu, about halfway down? No, and no, I only see burger varieties. What, L let me see. Where are all the appetizers? And what's burgerless burger? No beef, no cheese, no bread, no vegetables? What's left? What's on the back? I see steak. I see vegan options. Tofu, less tofu. All beef, all cheese, no vegetables? How are we doing? Ah! Oh. Oh. You think you could put a bell on you, George? Only if it's on the menu. <laughs> what will you two be having? Sorry, before we order, I have to know. Are you two related? Who two? You and the cedar. What? The concierge. We don't have a concierge. Then who took us to our seat? The cedar. Why'd you say what? When? When I said cedar. I was confused about what you meant. You look like the cedar. Who, Georg? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I've never heard that before. I can't tell if you're joking. I don't see it. But you do hear it. Hear what? I think he's joking. I'm not joking. What does that mean? That I'm being serious? You could be twins. You look and sound almost identical. Can I take your order? I'll have the bison wing burger. And I will have the feto creamy alfredo. I think there's some confusion. Just what this restaurant needed. We don't have those items on the menu. Sure you do. Right here. Um, uh, oh. I see what happened. You got your menus mixed up. Here at Menus Menus, we promise you a unique experience, and we honor that promise by giving you your own menu. Menus are non-transferable between patrons. I'll go and fetch you some new ones. Uh, no, that's okay. We'll just we'll switch back and, and find something else to order. Menus are non-transferable. I'll be back with some non-tainted menus shortly. What is going on? We're definitely having a unique experience. Of course we are. Every experience is, by definition, a unique one. Let's make sure to get some appetizers. I don't think I can stand the hangry until the food gets here. We could have eaten by now if we had just left. You think? Even if we count traffic and cooking the food once we got home and all the red lights, we would have had caught since you drive like a grandma. I drive defensively, thank you very much. Good evening, oh, ladies. Oh, and it's again. Good evening, George. Hello, and welcome to Menus Menus, where every experience is a unique one. Sorry for the wait. My name is Georg. Can I get you started with some drinks? We're good. We, we already have water. Just give us our new menu so we can pick out our meals and get this show on the road. I'm sorry, I think you're confused. This isn't dinner and a show. We just serve food here. If you want a show, you should try out shows, shows across the street. Show is a nice guy. It's a shame his shows are only so-so. I am going to scream. We'll take our menus. Be back soon. Ooh, sushi! My menu isn't Mandarin. Uh, maybe George can translate? Which one? The, the Mandarin. I meant which George! Um, are you not having a good time? No, of course I am not having a good time. I feel like I've woken up in the eighth circle of hell. So I know this probably isn't what you want to hear right now, um, but the eighth circle of hell is for fraud. You're thinking of the fifth circle of hell? Anger. 
That's just what I needed to hear. What can I get you? Jeez, every time. George, Georg, just the man I wanted to see. As a matter of fact, there is something you can get for me. I hope it's on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to speak to your manager. Oh, no, 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 she's kidding. That's, that's not who we are as people. We're not manager people. We're not Karens. We're positive people. Speaking of, do you have a survey we could fill out about the great service? I'm sorry to hear you're having a suboptimal time here at Menus Menus, where every experience is a unique one. I will be right back with that manager you requested. Ready to go? No, I am not ready to go. I cannot leave this establishment without letting someone know how awful a time I've had. I mean, you can. We don't have to complain. Let's just leave. No, the service has been both somehow too fast and too slow. We weren't even able to order any food because we switched menus, and now I can't order food because I can't even read the menu. What kind of place of business treats people this way? Maybe George is having a really bad day. That's what you said about the first Georg. Maybe it's true for George Georg too, too, too. Uh-huh. We don't need to make a scene. We can just leave gracefully. I swear to God, if you make one more excuse for someone's bad behavior, besides, you are not making the scene. I am. Yeah, which one of these angries was it? Table G, by the aquarium. Thanks, Gaylord. And Gaylord, go and fetch George. Okay, I think this is the manager coming. I just remembered I had to go to the Do not abandon me. I need your support for this. You don't have it. Yeah, I heard there was a complaint. Nope, we're good. No complaint here. That was me. What seems to be the problem? Are you the manager? No, I'm the owner. Menu. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's mine, ma'am. Did you say your name was Menu? Yeah. What's it to you? The joint isn't called Greg's Menus, is it? Is that like a family name? What or? a rude thing to ask. You're a rude person. I'm a rude person? <laughs> he was kidding. <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Menu. Please. My father was Mr. Menu. You can call me Menu. Your name is... Menu, menu? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Let me guess your middle name. Is it also menu? No, it's Georg. Okay. Menu. My problem is your entire restaurant. What kind of place does this? Giving everyone different menus. It makes no sense. It makes things harder. How are people supposed to order their favorite food? How are people supposed to know what to expect when they come back? And for that matter, how do you expect people to ever come back? This has been a miserable, no good, downright awful time. And the only person on the face of this planet who I could conceive of recommending this restaurant is our atrocious roommate, Angelica. And frankly, sir, I don't know the point of any of this. The point of Menus Menus is not to serve exceptional food, though we do. It's to serve as a metaphor. Ugh. In this life, each of us gets our own menu. Our neighbors may get menus that have more desserts or appetizers or even offerings that are exclusively given and taken in Mandarin. But that's life. We don't get a say in the laminated paper we're dealt. We just have to order what we can. I'm sorry there's been such frustration. Is there anything I can do to help? Your meal is on me. Whatever you want to eat. I'm sorry. I'm hangry. And I'm just taking out my frustration on you and your restaurant. I'm sure if I gave you a chance, I would like your food. Of course. What can I get started for you? I don't know. Can I get a different menu? One I can actually read? No problem. I'll take that from you. Huh. What's the problem? Nothing. It's just, this is our most popular menu here at Menus Menus. But I get it. Pizza isn't for everyone. I'll be back with that different menu. No, wait. Pizza is and all I wanted and he's gone. Why me? No. What? I don't know how I missed it. What? The restaurant is called 
menus, menus, because everybody gets a different thank you. <laughs> How fun! Oh, I just want pizza. Thank you for listening to this month's play. The goal of Barely There Theater is to create plays and entertainment for people free of charge, anywhere they want, anytime they want. Subscribe to us for mostly weekly updates with new audio plays, rehearsals, and whatever else might come up. We do ask that if you liked what you just listened to, consider donating to us at our website, BarelyThereTheater.com. And if you're in a position where you can't afford to donate, that's okay too. Consider passing this episode along to someone who you think will enjoy it. Get a hold of us at our email address, feedback at barelytheretheater.com, or leave a comment below if you're listening on YouTube. Tune in in the upcoming weeks for a behind-the-scenes look at the rehearsal process of the play you just listened to, where you can hear the growth, bloopers, and whatever tangents we may spiral off into. Once again, thanks for listening to Barely There Theater.